Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or MRI, has helped physicians diagnose and treat medical conditions for over 25 years. MR imaging uses powerful static and changing magnetic fields, radio frequency pulses, and a computer to produce detailed pictures of organs, soft tissues, and virtually all other internal body structures. Detailed MR images allow physicians to better evaluate various parts of the body and certain diseases than they could with other imaging methods such as X-ray, ultrasound, or CAT scans. But is MRI a safe technology? MRI is a safe technology and the benefits outweigh the risks. As long as we're operating within the FDA guidelines and by following proper screening procedures when we manage patients presenting for this diagnostic imaging procedure. Clinical benefits of MRI continue to attract greater numbers and more diverse patient types, including those with cardiovascular disease, trauma patients, critically ill patients, pediatric patients, and neonatal or newborn patients. The use of anesthesia and sedation during MRI procedures has further increased access to MRI examinations for a wide range of patients. In general, patients who are claustrophobic, who have anxiety, who are at the extremes of age, either elderly or young, or who have behavioral or movement disorders require anesthesia or sedation. It's especially challenging these environments because anesthesiologists are unfamiliar with, these, with the MRI environment in general. We're distant to the operating room, and it requires that we modify our anesthesia equipment and monitors. The American Society of Anesthesiologists and the International Society for Magnetic Resonance in Medicine recommend that all patients while under sedation or anesthesia be monitored with vital sign monitoring equipment. Such a monitor has to function safely and accurately in the presence of an extremely powerful magnet 30 to 60,000 times that of the magnetic field of the Earth. Furthermore, it must be immune to the powerful radio frequency pulses and not interfere with the operation of the MRI system. And most importantly, it must never put patients or hospital staff at risk. As anesthesiologists or sedation care providers, it's important that we have the appropriate airway equipment, emergency equipment, and monitors in order to be able to follow the patient's cardiac and respiratory, their heart and their breathing status. The Joint Commission Sentinel Event Alert Number 38 states that injury or complication related to equipment or device malfunction or failure caused by the magnetic fields are among the most common sources of patient injuries in the MRI environment. The electromagnetic fields used for MRI include a powerful static magnetic field, rapidly changing magnetic fields, and RF pulses. Each of these electromagnetic fields can produce serious hazards with monitoring equipment. For example, the static magnetic field can attract ferromagnetic objects forcefully and rapidly, and therefore, monitoring equipment must have little or no ferromagnetic content or components. The changing magnetic field and the RF pulses can produce artifacts and issues with the recording aspects of the device, and the RF fields can produce heating under certain circumstances, which could result in burns to the patient. Incorporating wireless ECG and pulse oximetry into the MRI can help improve patient management by untethering the patient from the monitor. Wireless monitors enable maximum flexibility during patient setup, transportation, and recovery while reducing the risk of burns, operator tripping hazards, and equipment damage associated with handling long cables. Wireless technology provides us with the ability to more accurately predictably and reliably follow a patient's status. It also gives us the flexibility to be able to monitor the patient both from within the MRI suite as well as from outside of the MRI suite. The Joint Commission states that the most common patient injuries in the MRI suite are burns and the most common objects to undergo significant heating are wires and leads. Burns may be prevented in the MRI setting by carefully following the guidelines stated by the Institute for Magnetic Resonance Safety Education and Research. These 17 guidelines include information for monitoring devices, which states that only properly designed monitoring equipment should be used in the patient setting. And that includes making sure that the equipment was designed and tested thoroughly for use in this electromagnetic environment. 
Another way to ensure patient safety with monitoring equipment is to make sure that fiber optic and or wireless technology is incorporated into the monitoring devices. As MRI scanner technology has evolved over the years, Invivo, an Orlando-based company, has been at the forefront of MRI vital sign monitoring technology development and innovation for more than two decades. Invivo was founded back in the 1980s by developing the world's first MRI patient monitor. About 10 years after that, we released the first control room monitor that was a wireless, which really enabled clinicians to monitor their patients remotely in any of the MRI suites. Now, a couple years ago, we became part of the whole Philips family. Now, what this relationship has really enabled us to do is begin to extend the same standard of care that is offered throughout the rest of the hospital down to the MRI. Devices such as Invivo's new Expression MRI monitoring system will operate safely at the 5,000 Gauss field line of a high field MRI system without interfering with the operation of the MRI scanner, compromising accuracy of the reported vital signs or damage to the monitoring equipment. The new Expression MRI vital sign monitor features innovative gradient removal techniques to remove the noise caused by aggressive MRI scans, providing clean ECG traces during MRI procedures. With the Expression system, you'll find the same SpO2 that is used inside their ICU or OR monitors, but we've made MR compatible versions of that. You'll also find perfusion index, active trend arrows, and we're also leveraging the entire service organization from Philips so we can better support our products like never before. The expression system was developed to enable clinicians to better manage their patients. All the wireless components will they talk directly to each other without the need for extensive wireless networks or Wi-Fi spots. Additionally, the wireless ECG and SBO2 and displays at the touch of a button, they can all change radio frequencies and networks to communicate to another expression system. In 2009, the FDA cleared the Invivo Expression's continuous body temperature and patient management configuration for use in the MRI setting. This further narrows the gap between MRI and other areas of the hospital, such as the operating room. Having the MRI monitor attached to the anesthesia machine replicates the operating room workflow while body temperature monitoring with rectal or esophageal placement allows clinicians to offer a continuous standard of care throughout the hospital. The operating rooms tend to be cold. Patients can experience shifts in body temperature, either related to the operation, to the administration of the anesthesia, or to actually fluid administration, from fluid administration or fluid loss. So for those reasons, it's important that we are able to monitor and follow a patient's body temperature. To date, especially in the MRI environment, there has not yet been an ability for us to be able to monitor body temperature. MRI is a valuable tool that is helping diagnose and improve lives every day. Advanced equipment such as the Invivo Expression MRI monitoring system can improve the standard of care offered in the MRI environment, which allows patients access to MRI exams who otherwise could not.